When the first group of hopeful green fingers began the hard graft on this community garden at Purbrook School in September 2014, it was more in hope than expectation of producing a meaningful crop of fruit and veg to provide to local residents. And when a group of pesky vermin took it upon themselves to root out all the seedlings, it appeared to leave the dream in tatters. But with a little help from some friends at Mount Folly Nursery in Denmead, plus a sturdy desire to succeed, the project found new life. To overcome the delay in proceedings, an enterprise project saw them use their produce to create an array of jams, chutneys and pickles. The team's dedication saw them win a CPRE award for their students' learning outside programme. The project's leader and alternative curriculum coordinator at the school, Martin Rafferty, outlined how the students took to the challenge and what they learned from it. They learned loads of uh, skills because none of them had done any kind of gardening before. But we all got stuck in, we all read, read up on what we had to do, how, how to get the best out of the plants and things like that. They, they weren't very motivated at first, but when they got into it and they seen the benefits of it, they, they all loved, they loved the idea of, some of them loved getting their hands dirty, some of them loved doing the advertising, uh, all the ordering off the internet, all the contacting the residents with letters. We got in touch with lots of different companies to come in and get involved, basically. Uh, and the, the, the flourish, they, they realised it wasn't just standing there gardening with a, with a spade. They, they had to do a lot more back work. So how does the project develop from here? Considering uh, it was a very steep learning curve for me and the pupils doing the garden, uh, I've learned what we've got, to, what we have to plan for next year, and and how to uh, stop the pests getting in, basically, you know, and spoiling it for the kids because the, the the pupils are really upset when they when they first found out about uh, all their hard work had gone down the drain, basically, with the seedlings. Uh, and they worked doubly hard to, to get it up and running again, you know, and they battled against adversity, which, which was a good sign, hold them in good stead uh, for the future. And how have the new crop of enthusiastic gardeners taken the reins from their award-winning predecessors? These pupils now are, are the current year nine uh, who, who, get, who are getting involved now, and these are taking it on great. They can't wait to get involved, they can't wait to get the seedlings done. So they're getting this hard work out the way now, getting the garden clear, ready for spring. Uh, and then we can get our new uh, polytunnel put in so we can grow our tomatoes and peppers in the polytunnel. And then outside here we can grow our onions and potatoes and, and all that. So with the project going from strength to strength, it appears a lasting legacy for Purbrook and its local residents is secure. Ben Trepas, that's Soland.